Well, as people around the world celebrated, they celebrated International Women's Day this week. A Southern California woman is breaking the glass ceiling in a male dominated profession. In a story you'll see only here on KCAL 9, our Andrea Fujii introduces us to the first female Upland police officer to ever be promoted. As Officer Marcy Williams gets ready to patrol the city of Upland, she's also preparing to make history because in a few days, she'll become the department's first ever female sergeant. I want to be able to represent women, represent them well. Williams joined the force in 2006, training and working alongside men all her career. Along the way, she met her husband, a fellow Ontario officer, and together they have a seven-month-old daughter. We come home and we pray every night together. Um, Thank God that we're safe. In a department of 74, only four are women, including Officer Williams. But Chief Brian Johnson says he's hoping to change that. I think for little girls at school and women out in uh, the workforce within our city, I think it's important for them to see women in the uniform. He says Williams tested number one among all the potential sergeant candidates. And in a city of nearly 80,000 people, where more than half are women, he argues more females on the force helps community policing. One of those pillars or one of those things that are very important is that we represent or we mirror our community. William says to her, gender isn't as important as the love she has for her job. No, I hold myself not as a female or a male. It's I'm a police officer. And most police officers, they just want to do good. And hopes her breaking the glass ceiling now will lead to more ceilings shattered in the future. I want to show my little girl that you could do whatever you want when you grow up. You know, if you put your mind to it. Officer Williams will be named sergeant in a ceremony on Monday, along with two other women who will join the Upland PD as officers. Reporting in Upland, I'm Andrea Fujii, KCAL 9 News.